Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So in this video, we got the Georgia State Police chasing a stolen Jeep Trackhawk, and I think it's through Atlanta. I'm not positive, but anyway, let's get right to this crazy video. Come on. Didn't really see why he, unless he was speeding. He's probably speeding. Is he using his turn signal? <laughs> what the? F what are you doing? This is a really polite high-speed chase. Okay, using his turn signals and things. All right. <laughs> Pretty upstanding citizen. Oh, he just changed lanes with no turn signal. Never mind. <laughs> But he's not like really, really trying to get away. He's not floored or anything. I'm pretty sure he's behind the wheels just panicking because he he might not know where he is. He probably doesn't know where to go. He might be trying to look up directions to somewhere. Because he's just cruising, obviously. This is a track hog. He could mob. Ooh, yeah, see? Ooh. What in the fuck? What in the fuck? <laughs> what was that? He damn near had them. He's gonna try it again. This fool's an idiot. He definitely doesn't know where he's going. He should have continued to hit that exit, because if he would have hit that exit, the cop would have had to turn around and do all sorts of shit to catch him. But he like jumped and went through a sign and... Okay, now he's mobbing. Yeah, now he's mobbing. Another one. Most casual high speed bros is not really trying to get away. Oh, uh, okay. dude in the back seat was trying to get out too. <laughs> he didn't hop out in time, and he's still not really. Trying to get away like that. What is he doing? I don't know if that is a track hawk. Nah. It could be. Ooh, you see? He got him. He got one cop, but there's hell behind him. So, sorry, bud. <laughs> nah, that's gotta be a hawk, because he's moving now. Oh. 
Oh my god! Bro! They're for show dead. They're for show dead. What in the fuck? That was the craziest pit maneuver. Yeah, they're on the roof. I know Burr in the back seat would have <laughs> wished he got out the car. Passenger got lucky. Let's turn it up so we can hear it. They said here he is. So he was ejected from the car. Yeah, they're definitely dead. Cause they stop moving with any type of urgency, and they're just walking in circles and shit. Damn. So there was at least two people in the car when it rolled, because there was one in the back left that you saw try to hop out when the front passenger tried to hop out, and then obviously a driver. There could have been another person in the back too. So there was at least two, but pr there could be three in there. And they just pit maneuvered them like that. Damn. A tourniquet on both legs. Holy shit. So both his legs are probably amputated. <laughs> God. Damn. So to stop the high speed chase, they killed two people because they were driving not even really recklessly to be honest like that was probably not even a a high speed to be pit maneuvering anyway they probably weren't even going over 100 miles an hour said so the other one's not breathing so one's unconscious, not breathing. The other one, they're applying a tourniquet to. Damn, so one of them's dead for sure. And then the other one has some sort of, I think they said the legs, so pretty sure he's missing his legs. Is it worth it? I bet the cop feels terrible. You should. <laughs> you fucking should. Like, there are so many other opportunities to pit maneuver them at a lower speed. And, like, you waited until they were going the fastest throughout the high speed chase to try and pit maneuver them. It was like when they finally hit, like, 80 miles an hour, you're like, nope. Boom! Sent them into the fucking abyss. That shit was crazy too. They jumped and then landed and you seen it just... Yeah, no one's moving with any type of urgency whatsoever. Doing a CPR on the one dude who was unconscious. They, they're they just now starting CPR? <laughs> They've been 
I guess, I don't know. Well, no, there's way too many of them. They should have been started CPR. There's like eight cops on scene. Were they all applying a tourniquet to that one dude? While the other dude was just laying unconscious? Crazy. That's like lack of training skills. Mm -mm -mm. Over a high speed chase. Yeah, that was crazy. Definitely not needed. Could have for sure <laughs> stopped the chase in a better manner than fucking pit maneuvering the Jeep at 80 miles an hour and killing two people probably. Because at first he said he needs a tourniquet on both legs. So that's <laughs> that just means that something cut both of his legs in a way where it, there, it's a really deep cut so he's bleeding out and he needs a tourniquet. So that in my mind, that means that he lost both of his legs. God, and I don't even know if the other dudes survived because they were trying to do CPR five minutes after arriving, and then, I don't know. Prayers to both them dudes. Fucking, uh, yeah, that's why I say don't run from the cops. You know, you never know what they're gonna do. Those <laughs> unpredictable people. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this one. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, go down below to hellocolor.com. And if you haven't seen yet, I am going to Minnesota, September 16th, Lanes Lanesboro? Lanesboro? Not really sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's Lanesboro. Uh, Minnesota, September 16th. Uh, go to my Instagram at hello, I'm Jensen. The flyer's up right there. Super dope uh, donut pit, legal, legal donut pit, obviously, on private property. A bunch of people are coming out. I'm trying to have this thing packed. My first time in Minnesota, so I'm trying to have a good time and obviously film some dope videos. So I, I need the best drivers to pull up. I need some of the best whips to pull up. And let's, let's make a movie. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you. Deuces. Las Vegas victory lane for Fox Television. Ricky Bobby, today's big winner. A heck of a win for you today, but it seems as you can either win or crash the car trying to win. Well, Dak, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence, yeah, please. Yeah, I and nobody help. can hang with my stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just a... Just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, the you're last. The kind of good there, you know, my guy. You know what I'm talking about? That phrase, trademark, not the real best producer, Ricky Bobby. They didn't see nothing.